is That Mom with a Laser, and it's on this channel where I attempt to simplify what it's like to operate a laser engraving machine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this fully wrapped tumbler. I'm going to show you in Lightburn how I create the artwork and how I do this staggered design so that I can engrave all around my tumbler. If you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button so that you get notifications every time I have a new video. And with that, I think it's time to start. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, guys, so here I have my logo. I'm gonna go ahead and group it together and I'm going to set it to my settings. Um, for those of you that are curious, I got this cut from Save a Cup and um, I use 300 speed and 50 power with the majority of their cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this aside for just a minute. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a rectangle to the dimensions of my cup. So I'm gonna grab this rectangle here, draw one out. I'm gonna switch it so that it's just an outline. It's easier for me to see. And I need to change the dimensions. So when I look at my cup, okay, it is eight inches in length. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. And then I also need to input the circumference. So to do that, I just, I have this little like flex bendy ruler that I use all the time. And that's how I just kind of get the uh, circumference of my cups quickly. So this cup is nine and a half inches. So I'm gonna put that here for the height. Okay, so now I have my template or basically my workspace for the tumbler. Now I need to go ahead and set up my artwork. So the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out how big do I, I mean, how big do I want my logo to be on this cup? Now, if I look at it again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and I can see that, you know, it's eight inches tall and I think I, I can fit, I think I wanna get about four of my logos going um, the height of it. So that would be two inches, but I do wanna give myself a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna make my logo 1.75 inches tall. And let me go ahead and change that here. Great, and now that I have that, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees because when we engrave it, we're gonna have to um, turn the artwork anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Great, and now I'm gonna bring my logo over here. And I already know that I want four going across. And if I eyeball it again, I'm going to guess, I'm just kind of duplicating here to see how much space I have to work with. That looks good. I think I want to get four across. I could probably fit more, but see, this is the look that I'm trying to go for. I want, I want them to kind of be staggered like that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete all those. This is just me kind of getting a visual of what I want to do. I'm going to select my logo and then I'm going to come over here and use the array function. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my logo going across my circumference this way. So I'm going to take 9.5, which is the circumference of my cup, and I'm going to divide it by four. And that's going to give me 2.375. Okay, so when I do that, I'm gonna make sure that I have right here where it says distance from center selected, and there we go. Now I have the, the proper spacing that I want or the even spacing to get four of my logo images around the circumference of my cup. Perfect. I want to shift this group of logos up and over. To do that, I'm going to use what's called the shift column feature, and I'm gonna do it over here under this column right here. See where it says X column shift? This is what I'm gonna use. So this is gonna allow me to shift my grouping over so that the images fall in between the logos below. Um, so I'm gonna shift it over by 1.1875 and I'm gonna show you how I got there in just a minute. And so look at that. That's exactly what I needed. Perfect, okay. so. What did I do to get there? So the number that you use right here is going to vary depending on the cup that you use. To figure this out, you are going to take the total circumference and divide it by the number of shapes. Then you'll take that number and divide it by two. So in my case, the circumference of my cup is 9.5, 
and I have four images. So 9.5 divided by four gave me 2.375. Then I'm gonna take 2.375 and divide it by two, and that's how I arrived at 1.18750, and it did it all for me, okay? But the good news is you won't even have to do this because it's gonna be included in the next light burn update, but I figured I'd show you the math anyway for those of you who don't end up getting the update. Now, I can also shift this over, this whole thing over, one more time. And to do that, I would have to double whatever this is, right? This is 1.75 and 1.75, so it would have to be 3.5. There we go. And now I have, I have my template, you know? Or I have, I have my images ready to go. So look at that. So I'm gonna group it all together. And now I'm going to get rid of this rectangle because obviously I don't want this in my image. I'm going to group it all together. I like to work in the top right corner. Set the origin that you like to work with. For me, the top right corner is usually uh, very reliable. And then I'm going to send it over to my laser, frame the job, and engrave. There you have it. Engraving this tumbler all the way around surprisingly wasn't that difficult. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna learn about how I engrave tumblers in general, then be sure to watch this video here. Otherwise, that's all I have for you guys today. I wish you well, and I'll see you guys here soon. Over at That Mom with a laser.